Hello Buff of Exile fans, this is Buff of Exile, this is my dirty mirror, this is my terrible painting and today I want to talk about first leaks which we got from the interview with Zizaran and Buff of Exile developers. There are a lot of points in this conversation which last for two and a half hours I believe, but most important things are for me the new changes to itemization of some crafts. Let me give you some context of the, on those changes before we will talk about the changes itself. There is a big ongoing drama on the Discord channel TFT which involves a person who is responsible for this TFT and he tried to buy a bow and this and other person didn't want to sell them that bow so the god emperor of TFT got angry. Also, there is a guy called Belton, Bolton, something like this, who accused the TFT for real money trading and other sneaky, nasty stuff. So they've banned like all his followers on the Discord, which sounds a little bit petty to me. And why this is a problem? This is a problem because the game we have, the Path of Exile, doesn't yet have all the needed in-game mechanics to support crafting. That's why we need the TFT, because there is Betrayal, which means Ash Sling, Helog, Forichi and other crafts, which need to be, which can be bought, and but only can be crafted by the person who is currently interacting with the betrayal. That means that if you want to craft this, you need to either get your investigation correctly and and use the encounter, which is troublesome for many reasons. Or you can trust a person in game based on the chat and and give them their your item, which is not ideal. So there is a TFT which got a system a system with uh, feedbacks, so like on eBay or something like this. You can know that the, that the seller of the craft is trusted. So this is one thing. The boss carry is the other thing. And the sextant crafting is the third main thing which we are using TFT for. There are a couple of also smaller points like bulk tab stash uh, selling etc etc and so that the drama involves a lot of players also a fillers of community like i believe the person who is responsible for the development of path of building community so ggg need to act and they had basically two options. First is bribing the TFT guy, the the god emperor of TFT, which is not ideal. And the other is is possibly the best solution, which is changing the game actually and and improving it. And the first step is already made. This is the change we will have in three dot twenty four an itemized craft. That means that if you are having Aslink level 4, 3, etc. You can get the item and you can then sell it on, on market like 99% of other items you have. So this is the first change which we are which we will have. Hopefully we will somehow get addressed also the other problems like sextants trading. So the sextants are problem because they are do not stack and the trading of them is it's annoying because you will need, you need to do it one by one by one by one by one. This is obnoxious. I don't see any reason on the code side why they are not stackable because other items can be. So GGG, I have a solution for you. Please listen to me. Change the name of the sextants when someone is is creating the sextants. That's that way you can then have stackable sextants from what I believe. Or the problem is that the code in the code base is really bad and the code need to be refactored, which should be your priority, trust me. And you will get st 
stackable sections to, to the player base. This is important. We should have this in the game because new players should need, should have the need to advance and to gain more knowledge about our game, right? This is, this is your goal, right? To, to have each player play a lot of this game. I mean, I hope it's your goal be, because most of the players just buy some startups and that's it. And maybe you don't want them to get involved. But I believe you do because we all love our game, right? At least I do. And I know that developers, based on, on the interview I've already seen, love this game very much and they are happy to create it. It's it's great. I really enjoyed this conversation because of how those developers were were informative and how they were they were how what was their approach on the game so i believe that they are really sincerely nice people who, who just want our game to to get better this is my goal also i don't know how to address boss carry which is the third problem we have and per, i don't know if this will be even achievable we, I, we can have some kind of poster board for people who want to advertise for boss carry, but I don't know how in system you can you can do it so nobody will scam any any other player. This is the problem. Yeah, that that was it. That was that are all the changes, which are first leaks from from new league. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you you like the context of the changes because I know a lot of this these under the hood dramas which are created by by our beloved TFT community. So that's all. Love from Exile out. Have a great day. Have a great night. Don't die as much as I do in this league. And yeah, see you soon. Cheers.